Hey guys, welcome back. As always, my name is Lazar, and Digital Extremes is back at it again with another hotfix 31.7.2. So we're gonna have a look. It addresses certain issues, it adds a whole bunch of stuff, and by a whole bunch of stuff, I mean Tenogen 22 Part 1, and we will have a look at all of these yummy, yummy things right after the more technical bits and all whatnot. So Syndicate Medallion Quality of Life Changes, originally introduced in Update 15. Can you see that? You should see that. The Syndicate system brought new characters and a handful of goals within the system. Part of that system included the eventual introduction of Syndicate Medallions, unique objects gathered within missions to redeem for their respective standing. Fast forward to 2022 and update 31.5, Angels of Zataman introduces the Holdfast Syndicate and their respective medallions. Void Plumes, you guys know we run around those missions a whole lot because we need those Void Plumes for a whole lot of stuff including the all-important Incarnate Weapons, which you should definitely try. Link in the cards right now if you want to see what one of them can actually do. It's absolutely fantastic. Now, where was I? Oh yeah, while the medallion system itself is not new, the Zetaman tile set spurred conversation around individual versus team-wide pickups due to the grandeur size of the tile set themselves. The feedback received from the community expressed pain points... <laughs> Pain points related to the necessary backtracking in order to collect the plumes which meant deviating from the objective and causing longer than necessary mission times in order to collect them all. Similar pain points were what brought forth the squad-wide pickup change to Railjack. With that said, Syndicate Medallion 6x Core Syndicate plus Angels of Zataman missions are now team-wide pickup. Medallions are now team-wide pickup and thank god for that. Meaning any medallion picked up benefits the entire squad and no backtracking is required. This also applies to Void Plume drop from Angels and Medlicos catch to keep everything consistent. We've also removed the ability to waypoint the pickup since there's no need to individually pick them up. As an additional lateral change, uh, Riven challenges for Syndicate medallions collecting uh, have been changed to be solo specific and the amount reduced to 810 instead of 1216. Already existing Rivens won't adopt this change but will instead lose any complicated conditions and just be find X medallions. Fantastic change, I more than welcome it honestly. While it was cool at the beginning for Angels of Zataman, simply because there, is, there was a lot of new stuff for you to explore and all whatnot, and I did enjoy, you know, prompting that little ghost to Tenno thing to lead me to the thing when it actually worked the way it was supposed to, it gets really old really quickly. It's as simple as that. And honestly, backtracking all the time was a pain in the arse, and I'm really glad that the developer paid attention and brought on this change. Now, Railjack quality of life, Ash and Buberon. While maintaining our original intentions to connect Railjack to some more core Warframe style rewards, we've made a few changes to have Ash components be more new player friendly, hashtag new player friendly, for those starting their Railjack journey. Having them live only in Rotation C brought feedback of accessibility concerns for newer players trying to complete their Ash build. While Oberon parts do drop in new player friendly areas, having his Neuroptics reside within the Veil Proxima was a steep climb to have a chance at collecting all the parts you needed. Added Ash components to Corpus Railjack Exterminate Volatile, about 5% chance to drop, reducing Endo's drop slightly. Added Ash components to drop Corpus Railjack Survival Defense Rotation A, 13.3% chance, reducing Endo drop slightly and rearranging the drop percentage of Rotation C. Moved over on Neuroptics from Veil vale Proxima to Earth. Wow, that's a big jump. Reducing Endo drop slightly and rearranging the drop percentage. Absolutely bloody fantastic. Honestly, I farmed Ash and Oberon a really long time ago, but I can definitely understand a new player coming into the game wanting to get these really cool and awesome frames and, you know, not really having the opportunity, not realistically speaking, when you put them in Bloody Veil vale Proxima for a new player. So thumbs up for these changes as well. Smaller changes over here, but there was one which I believe you guys would care a whole lot more of. Ah, this one. Adjusted the peculiar audience mod sound to have more prominent laughing. <laughs> Some of you guys were disappointed in the mod, so hopefully that'll fix that. And speaking of fixes, there's a whole bunch of fixes over here which we will not go into. I will leave you a link in the description down below or in the pinned comment. I'm sure you can find it. Now, let's talk about, let's talk about that Miami Miami Tenogen Round 22 Part 1 and we're gonna go essentially through everything. First off on the list, what do we got? Let me see, let me see. Oh, Vauban. Ooh, the Bonaparte skin. You got Napoleon Bonaparte? You guys get it? Get it? Yeah. 
How do you guys feel about Volban nowadays? You know, Volban used to be one of the worst frames in the game and then he got a rework and then he wasn't the worst frame in the game, but I still feel he could be in a better place. While I'm not necessarily a Volban fan per se, I would like to see him in a better place. So this one is called the Bonaparte skin by Hydroxate and Debbie Sheen. Let's have a quick look. This one. Oh, dude, I dig that helmet. Check the helmet. The whole Napoleon thing to the side, you know, from that famous portrait of his, you know, he was like, man, there was the, the thing like that, yeah? You get that? I like it, man. Very nice. For seven bucks, it can be yours. For me, it's seven euro, because Europeans are second-class citizens, and they parry more. Next, we got the Gara Adora helmet by that one Cactus and Blazing Cobalt. Blazing Cobalt. Cobalt is normally blue or associated with the color blue, and if it would be blazing, would that like to be like a blue blazing or a red blazing in a blue field how would that uh, never mind that's not important what is important the gara helmet was it a helmet yes it's a helmet it's called adora helmet okay let's check it out adora adora rotate oh oh dude that is awesome but you know oh dude i love it man this is wow I don't know if it's better than the Zamario or any other. Again, this is a subjective topic and all whatnot. Oh, I love this one too. Very streamlined, very Tron-esque. But the Gara Adora helmet, you know what screams to me? We got any Destiny fans in the audience? This screams to me Witch Queen. Just, just flat out screams Witch Queen. Which is not a bad thing, it's a good thing. You should be taking inspirations from whatever. As long as your product comes out nicely like this one clearly has. It is freaking sick. It is beautiful. I love it. You know what? I think I need it in my life. Let's try it one more time. What a different color set. Yeah, dude. This is a great helmet. Thumbs up. <claps> Clap. Fantastic. I love it. What else we got? Lavos. Ooh, a skin. This is called the Alchemist skin by Ernex. The Quavel. Quavel. Alchemist skin for Lavos. We got it. Hold on. Lavos. Listen, I'm not Lavos' biggest fan. I know. He's got fans. Some of my friends are his biggest fans. I tried to format him. I tried to love him like a mother loves a child, but I just can't. We're gonna take a look at the skin, however. It is the Alchemist skin is the first skin he gets. Ooh, that is nice. Very nice execution, bro. I love that helmet. Look how cool. Is that eyes? Does he have eyes? You know what? Let's try with the, the, the base thing, yeah? Let's try. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, definitely. Let's try to throw a little bit of an animation up in there. No, no, something like this. Something like this. Yeah, this will work. This will work like this. Oh, I dig it a lot. I dig it a lot. Very nice work. Fantastic. Love the skin. Now, believe it or not, Ernix, which is the maker of the skin, also made a Siandana to go with it. It's called the Alchemist Chem Tank Siandana. And yes, it sounds... Like it, it, it's, a, it's a Chem Tank. It's, 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 it's a tank. If you want to search for it, you gotta search up Kim Tank. This one is six bucks or your original equivalent and take a look at that. It matches perfectly to the skin. I love it, man. It's fantastic. Thumbs up. Great work. I hope Lavos fans will be happy with this one. While I may not be a Lavos fan, I can definitely appreciate the work that went into this one. Thumbs up for Ernix. What else we got? We got the Mesa Insomnia skin by Gosmo. Okay, let's see. Mesa. I am a Mesa fan, though. I am a big Mesa fan. Fantastic Warframe, you should definitely try it if you haven't played it by now. But I don't think the green really suits a brand new skin. Let's try, let's try something like this, alright? Let's try, okay. In Insomnia, was it Insomnia? Yeah, Insomnia skin. Very nice! Very nice, I dig the helmet. Dude, that's one of the best Mesa helmets ever. Take a look. I love the, like, the things on the side like that. It looks like very aggressive, very streamlined. I like it, man. Very nice. Now, here's, here's the thing. When it comes to Mesa, you got a lot of competition because I believe that Mesa has... Look at this! Has a lot of cool skins, you know? But I think the Insomnia is definitely... I love the detail on the chest there. Very nice work. Definitely worthwhile addition. My friends, if this is the first time you see Tenogen stuff, you gotta bear in mind that when it comes to skins per se, the artist can't really do much with the body itself except simply retexture it, right? That's all they can do because of the platform. But they can create brand new helmets like they did here. And this one definitely looks lovely. Again, another thumbs up here for Gosmo. And this is the Insomnia skin. Revenant Tenebrous Hel Ah, something for Revenant. Oh, Revenant's my boy. It's my Warframe. I love Revenant before Revenant was meta. But I am a ballerina, Revenant. Now, let's see the helmet. Uh, what is it called? I think I'm just gonna recognize it. Tenebrous helmet, let's see. 
Oh, dude, no way. Look how cool that is. And it's got the thing, like the ponytail energy thing at the back. Dude, you're sick. Who made this thing? Does it say here? Uh, Malaya and Oculus. Here's a bit of a tip. If you want people to remember your name, don't make it overly complicated. Fantastic work, though. Beautiful, man. I love it. I am a Revenant fan. I am a Revenant main, quote-unquote main. And I will be buying this helmet simply because it's absolutely freaking sick. Let's try it on a more darker tone, yeah? Not this one. No, that's the skin. Hold on. My bad. This one. Oh, dude, yes. You know what this screams to me? Shredder. Shredder from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. You guys know the turtles and the ninjaing and the stuff and that there was Donatello, Raphael, and there was like their master was a rat. There was a rat. You, you guys ever seen Teenage Mint? No, no, you should see it. Not the, the not the more modern day stuff. The old stuff. The old stuff was really good. Love it. Definitely thumbs up for this. I will be buying this helmet. I absolutely love it. For Siandanas, we already talked about the Alchemist Chem Tank by Ernix. We're gonna talk about the Asteria Chest Armor or talk about it. Just have a quick look. Oh, nice. Beautifully designed. I love the detail on that one. I love how you flow with the lines. I like it a lot. Do we have matching attachments? It would be really cool if you got matching attachments. Everybody wants to match nowadays. Nobody wants to do offshoot things, which is weird. Let's try a different look for Revenant. This is my LGV Revenant. One more time for the chest, yeah? There we go. Asteria chest armor. Beautiful, man. I love it. Fantastic work once again to lead 2012 and we also got a shoulder armor by lotus lost epoch my bad this one is called the lamasu shoulder armor so we're gonna have a quick look at that lamasu lamasu shoulder armor oh uh, you know what i don't think we get the full effect on the left let's try on the right shoulder press lamasu La I don't know if I'm pronouncing that. Okay, now we can see it very clearly. Very nice. Very nice. I love the design. Not bad at all. Fantastic job, as per the usual. We also got a weapon skin from Kakarot2812. Dragon Ball reference over there. Kalinex polearm skin. A polearm skin, my friends. You guys love polearms? Of course you do. You love melees, don't you? Why wouldn't you? Polearm. Oh, very sentient -y. Look at that. Look at that. Beautiful, man. Fantastic. It feels like the Broken War slash war. It feels like it's a stalkery weapon, kind of like that. I love it a lot. I love the sentient-ish design. Thumbs up, man. I love it. There you go, guys. You can get it for six bucks or six euro or your regional equivalent. Definitely a nice fashioned out item. What else we got? Weapon skins, operator accessories. Operator accessories. All right, fine. Operator accessories. And this one is called the uh, Caruela Oculus. This one is essentially some kind of like Spike's visor thingy. Say something like that. Very nice. Very nicely executed. Thank you so much. And that concludes Tenogen uh, Round 22 Part 1. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Let me know what was your favorite part out of the Tenogen. What exactly are you going to buy, if anything? What can't you live without? For me, I got to get myself that Revenant helmet. It's absolutely fantastic. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like, favorite, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed the content. If you got any feedback for me, I would love to read it in the comment section down below. You can also catch me on Twitch streaming different things, Facebook, Twitter, all the usual places. And if you love the content and you want to help me keep making it, consider supporting us via Patreon. There'll be a link in the cards right now. But until next time, my friends, bye-bye.